Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Got another 7 Days to Die video for you guys today. And in addition to my regular Let's Play and now my multiplayer videos over on my new server with my Patreon people, I just wanted to create a series where I highlight this really awesome mod I've been playing with. Um, I will leave the link in the description if you want to check this out yourself. But what makes this mod so special is that it's actually made by fans for fans. It's a prefab combo pack. There's over 200 different points of interest that adds to your game. So it's pretty much vanilla gameplay with just 200 additional points of interest. I want to show you guys some of the unique ones that are out there. I just think it's so awesome. Props to the people who've made this, who've put this together. It's over on the 7 Days to Die forums. Make sure you go check it out if you're in between alphas right now and you feel like you've done everything new and you're looking for new, more interesting things. This is going to be the series for you guys to watch. Make sure you subscribe if you already haven't. And of course, hit that like button if you like these videos and you want to see more of these unique prefabs. They're so awesome. So one of the first points of interest really changes the landscape when you have it on your map. I just want to show this off first because I just think it's so creative. Somebody actually made a crashed airplane. I just thought it was so cool because it's like apocalypse and all that. So I'm not really sure how many zombies are really in this area or how the loot is. I just think it's a really cool unique uh, area that I wanted to show off. And it looks like we woke up a businessman by accident. We were trying to get that one. Now, do you guys think there's a lady behind this curtain? No, but there's a really neat locked door. That looks cool. Alright, I want to make sure I get all of the zombies that are at least in this half here. I don't want any surprises. Oh, and I see some baggage down there. This is really neat. This is like... The apocalypse started and the plane crash, like while that was happening. I just love how unique that is. And of course, this is great early on. If you need leather, I'm gonna take all these seats. What is this, like an emergency exit door? That is so funny. So, this is like the little stewardess cabin area. Which I thought was usually at the back of the plane where they got like all the drinks and stuff, but I guess planes will vary. But that's really neat that they added that there. I wonder what's behind this door. Now, let's see. I can go through here. I can go through here. Definitely want to go through here. Oh wow, there's upgraded steel blocks here. Now, uh, the players that make these they can uh they can use any blocks in the game pretty much so you guys can replicate these if you wanted to in your own game if you wanted to try to like build some of these it looks like there's just going to be i wonder if there's anything down here you guys know how i am i want to see if anybody's hiding anything but uh you guys could could replicate stuff like this with the with the blocks if you had wanted to but I think it's much cooler just to find this stuff in the environment. Ooh, hey now. Let's see here. It is a tiny bit better than my other one. Awesome. We're on our way. That's gonna take forever. <laughs> All right, so this is mainly this first half here. I wonder if we can... Oh, we don't want to miss this trash here. Let's see if we can get down from here and not get hurt. Oh, hey, there's a bag here. So that's cool. There's actually, like, a second layer underneath where you would actually, like, have your baggage on a plane. That's cool. See, I just love how a lot of these points of interest are like this. People have put so much thought into them. Look, here's a suitcase hidden over here. And I hear somebody. And I've noticed there's a lot of stumps here. Stumps are always usually really good for loot. So I'm wondering... There's another stump. A lot of stumps. They added a lot of stumps. Oh my god, this is so lucky you guys. Check this out. Again. We can sell these. Check that out. Alright. 
There's a lot of stumps over here. Is there more? That's the tail end of the plane, so there's not gonna be... So many stumps! Oh my gosh, there's a lot over here. What? A pistol? Hey, that stump is sideways. I wonder if that's supposed to be like that. Alright, so let me get back to the main attraction, which is this plane. You guys know what the regular loot is for stumps and stuff like that. The wing here looks really cool. It broke off. Let's see if I can get up here without having to use a block. So this is the one wing, and I guess this is just... The other one, I don't see anything really, like, under it or anything. Oh, here's the other one. It's so cool how, like, it broke up across a good amount of space, which is what a normal plane would do. Backpack. We got a lot of loot, just, like, it looks like such a tiny location, but this is pretty good. I wonder if I can jump on this and then jump up here. Oh, look at that. So you actually do not need wood frames to get up here. That's very convenient. Alright, I see like a leg or something. Yep. <coughs> what just happened? Oh no. Okay. It froze there for a second, but you guys get the idea of what happened. Her head got blown off. What's back here? Is the bathroom. This is probably the biggest in-flight bathroom ever. I gotta fix my inventory, hang on. What I was saying was is this is probably one of the biggest in-flight bathrooms for a regular airline to have. So yeah guys, that is a crashed airplane point of interest that a fan of the game made for a special mod pack. Of course, the link will be in the description if you want to check that out. I actually had a lot of loot for such a small little plane area. And of course, I'm going to go back. It's got a lot of leather for early on if you if you end up coming across this. I definitely recommend you guys use this mod. It's really cool. And if you want to see more of this mod, comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Because like I said, there's over 200 different unique uh, unique points of interest like this. I think it's so awesome. It really changes the landscape of anything. Cities, uh, there are, the points of interest are everywhere. There's an entire town that's just in Asia town. Like, that sounds awesome. We definitely have to check that out. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.